Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing a new in fashion video. I kind of want to start doing these every month, like showing you some of the new bits that have come in um, to shops and which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Um, most of this stuff I like um, because I've been accumulating it for a while. This is also mixed in with a few things that PR have sent me, so um, I didn't buy all of this, like that is why there's a lot of stuff. My earring's really dangling, <laughs> it's really heavy. So yeah, I've got some really cool pieces to show you, so I'm just going to get straight in, show you what they look like, and then like do a little vlog clip of me trying them on and everything, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to start with Urban Outfitters, because this is the most recent thing I picked up, and it is this amazingly soft, snuggly jacket that's in like this peachy shade I'd say. I really have been like wanting something like this for ages but they were quite expensive. Um, this was about 60 something pounds of student discount um, which is expensive for like something like this I feel like um, but it's so soft it's got pockets. It kind of goes with pretty much anything. I was kind of worried that it would look like I was just wearing one of those like just throws that you get for the end of your bed but it actually looks quite cool on and um, it's a lot more wearable than I thought it would be and it's just super super snuggly so I love this and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like on now I also have to be careful with that that Spot doesn't get hold of it because I think she'd just think it was her bed and she'd like prodded it and then like crawl in it <laughs> she's just like lying down next to me like no. okay so this is what it looks like on I never want to take this off. Every time I put it on, I'm just like, oh, I could just live in it. It's just so snuggly and soft and the lining is like super soft, just cotton. Um, so it's not like this all the way through, which is kind of a shame, but at least it's got pockets and it's a nice sort of weight. It's not that warm, but it's kind of warm enough that you can wear like a jumper and this on top and it will kind of count as a jacket. Love it. I just think it's quite an interesting piece for me. I don't really have anything like this jacket wise. Okay next up from Urban Outfitters is this bag. Oh I am so in love with this bag. You'll have probably seen it a while ago I posted a picture of this on my Instagram um, and it was just on their US website and I was like please bring this to the UK and then they did um, so I had to get it. So yeah these bags are so in this season and I'm also really happy about the way it's been fastened down because I had one last year and the handle's like breaking off now because it just wasn't strong enough but this one looks like it's an actual leather and it doesn't just have lots of strands that are just going to come out so hopefully it will be a nice sturdy straw sort of wicker bag and yeah you can't really get much in these um, it opens up like this and um, it's got a nice high up black bit that stops here, you probably can't see it, um, so things won't fall out straight away when you open it, which is good. Um, and yeah, I just think it's so lovely and it will look great with dresses and pretty things for spring and summer. This is what the bag looks like on if you wanted like to know whereabouts it stops on the body. Um, it's just in a nice normal place because the straps aren't adjustable at all, but it's just so cute and summery and springy and I can't wait to wear it with stuff but like I can't really take it to uni because I always have to take so much stuff with me <laughs> so like little weekends where I'm just going out with friends then it'll be good for that sort of thing okay next I'm going to move on to denim because denim is definitely something that I have needed to refresh for a long time um, I've been like living in skinny jeans and other types of jeans if I even wear jeans that much anymore because I'm trying to go for more trousers and leggingy style things um, but anyway my denim wardrobe has been refreshed <laughs> so the first pair I want to show you are from Topshop and these are the Jamie flare jeans um, I'm a sucker for flares and they're also so in this season and throughout summer so I'm so happy about that so this is the Jamie flare jeans from Topshop and they're in this nice mid-wash blue um, obviously flared at the ankle and then for size wise I went for a waist 28 length 32 um, the length is literally just perfect like the jeans don't hit the floor 
Um, I kind of wish they were the tiniest bit longer, just so they did hit the floor. Um, but I tried on the uh, 34 length, and that was just way too long. That is the size I go for in these jeans, and I am five foot seven, if that helps. <laughs> and then I also picked them up in a dark blue wash, but I'm unsure whether I'm going to keep these ones or not. Um, but they look like that. Um, these were £40 each, by the way, which is kind of painful. <laughs> yeah, I got these in the same size, and I just thought that this is such a classic um, colour for flared jeans that I really wanted to get this, but I also loved the other colour. Um, they also do these in black if you wanted um, something a bit more wearable. So yeah, those are the flares that I've picked up, and I'll show you what they look like on now. So here's the sort of mid-wash flared jeans. I like how high-waisted they are. Yeah, that makes it just more, like, in proportion, I feel like, with flares, if they're a bit more high-waisted. Um, and then this is the length on them without shoes. Um, if I'm wearing, like, chunkier shoes, then they can look a bit short, so um, I tend to just go for quite flat trainers with these. And then these are the darker wash ones. I actually love these. I think I'm definitely going to keep these. Um, yeah, that is what they look like. The 70s trend is definitely back, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> From And Other Stories, I have these straight cut jeans. Um, they look like this. They're quite an intense blue, actually. They're just a bit more relaxed after the knee. And I got these in a waist 26, and they fit quite well. I'm like a 27 waist, and it's so annoying, because 26 is a little too small, and then 28 is just a little too big. And it's frustrating to find jeans these days. <laughs> so yeah, these are so, so soft. Um, I'll show you what they look like on now. These are the straight cut jeans from And Other Stories. They're like a lot tighter around the top of the leg and then they just go into quite like a relaxed sort of look down at the bottom. The actual denim itself is so, so soft. So next time you go into And Other Stories, have a look at their jeans because they're really, really nice and then the final pair i have are from h&m and they are their straight fit high-waisted jeans these are in a 27 inch waist and they fit me perfectly and they have like this massive turn up which you can change like it's not um stitched down into place which is really nice so you can have them really long if you want to or like rolled up um i think they look quite cool really long and then with my like western slightly heeled boots like tucked in at the front a little bit. They're also in such a lovely light wash denim. Not normally a fan of light wash denim, but I actually like this colour. I feel like it can be a little bit too purpley sometimes, but I feel like they've managed to get the colour just right with these jeans. Um, so yeah, they definitely remind me of like Levi jeans, these ones. Okay, so here are the H&M straight cut jeans. I just feel like they're super flattering at the back and then they just go into this really nice relaxed look. Obviously the length you can like change up. But yeah, I just really really like these jeans. And I also love how they come in like every single half size of jeans so you can really get the right fit. Then from And Other Stories I've got this really cool um, And Other Dimensions t-shirt. Um, this looks so cool, like just tucked into jeans. Um, or like just having out over like flared leggings and stuff um, so yeah I love it it's also like I quite like the fact that it's not a band t-shirt as well because a lot of these band t-shirts like I won't listen to the band and then people will be like oh if you don't listen to the band you can't wear the t-shirt <laughs> so yeah I just think it's a bit fun um, such a soft t-shirt I just want to wear it every day all day it's also in like a nice charcoal color um, and not like an intense black, so it's actually kind of works quite well with pale skin. So this is what the t-shirt looks like. It's just super relaxed fit. It's nice and like, it flows quite nicely, like it just hangs off your shoulders, um, which I love about t-shirts like this. And then it's quite long, um, so it's just really slouchy and I just love it. It's just such a perfect t-shirt. Also from And Other Stories, I have this gorgeous new belt which has a little um, like ring in the center. Um, and it's just such a good quality belt. Like it feels so nice and heavy. It does look quite wide and I was worried when it came that it wasn't gonna fit through jeans, but it does. So you can wear it with jeans if you want to. Just had to make sure these bits are like lifted up over the belt loops. Carrying on with the belt theme, 
Um, I've been really wanting one of those Gucci like little bum bags, but obviously they're like £700 and I'm not prepared to spend that on a bum bag. <laughs> um, so I looked on ASOS and I found this one which is kind of quite the dupe. <laughs> I mean these gold bobbly bits are not my favourite, but um, this sort of quilting style and size of it is actually really nice. Um, and you could fit quite a decent amount inside it as well. Belt fits nicely around the waist. Um, yeah, this was like £15, I think. So £15 over £750, I will take any day. This is a little bum bag from ASOS on. It kind of sticks out quite a bit, but I don't know if... I don't know. I'm just not really used to wearing bum bags, but I just think it might be quite useful for summer. Or just like generally going out because I quite like to have my hands free to put in pockets. Next up is Zara and the first thing I picked up is this insane, insanely pink um, pair of, oh, <laughs> showing your vagina. Pair of very, very pink <laughs> polka dot trousers. They're like really wide leg and they just go into a slight slit at the bottom which is really lovely. Um, I did have to take them up slightly just because I know I'm not going to wear heels that much um, and most of these like flared trousers and wide legs these days are, I feel like they're designed for wearing with heels um, which I just don't want to do, I just want to wear chunky trainers um, so I took them up by about like that much, maybe like half an inch to an inch um, and they're much better now. Really, really love these and I'll show you guys what they look like on. Here are the pink trousers. I am in love with these trousers so much. They have their little slits at the side, so like when you walk, it's got some nice movement to it. Um, I wore these to London the other day and on the train on the way back, a guy like wrote a note on his phone and showed it to me. Like He's quite an old, old man. He just said, your trousers are great. <laughs> I was like, Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of see the t-shirt through it a bit, but they're not like see-through. Yeah, super, super comfy, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these. Then I picked up this dress, which is sort of like a knitted or like woven dress, but it's in such a gorgeous like mint colour, um, which I don't tend to go for because normally it makes me look really pale, but I kind of just I think I was tanned at the time, like fake tanned, and um, I just thought it looked really good. And I, I'm just obsessed with this colour. I really don't have much in my wardrobe that's in this colour, um, so I'm excited to have this for spring and summer, and it's just a really relaxed fit, like sort of midi style dress, really cool to wear. Um, yeah, love it. This is a green dress on. It's kind of looking a little bit see-through um, right now, so I think I'm just gonna have to be careful with the like colour of underwear I wear underneath. I've, I've just got light grey on but I feel like you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's very like loose around the waist which I kind of like. It's definitely going to be like a love-hate dress for you guys but I just think it's going to be so easy and um, comfortable for spring and summer and just like easy to style up with things. Then the last thing I picked up in Zara was this white um, linen style dress. Um, it's got really beautiful like embroidery all over it of just like little white flowers um it's just so lovely it's so like 60s and it's cut and i really love that i think it's such a like flattering and easy to wear cut for a dress um so yeah, this will be great in the summer this is the white zara dress it's absolutely gorgeous I, whenever i see it off the body i just think like it looks so boring but then when i put it on i'm straight away like oh, i remember why i bought this now it's just such a simple cut and yet i feel like it looks so flattering um, it looks really cool with these big hoops actually. Yeah, really, really happy with this dress. Then a random purchase from a charity shop is this pair of trousers. Um, I know this isn't going to be helpful for anyone because you can't go out and buy them. But these were originally from M&S. Um, and they're so granny-ish, but I kind of love them. Um, and they look really flattering on. Yeah, I really like them. This is my weird little pair from the charity shop. These are my charity shop trousers. I actually love them. They look so cool with like chunky trainers on. I feel like I could probably find something similar to this on ASOS or Topshop so I will try and find something and link it down below for you guys. Then I've got another new blouse from Free People. You guys know I love Free People. <laughs> um, it's this gorgeous like dusky 
pink little blouse. It's got like some really lovely shearing detailing um, around the waist, um, and then it's got massive puffy sleeves, um, which I'm just always obsessed with. So yeah, and then the fabric has like little um, eyelet holes in. Um, it's just such a gorgeous little piece. Um, it will look so great with all my like flared jeans. I really like having um, like flares and then quite like big sleeves as well. I think it just it's quite an interesting shape and it's quite flattering on the body. Here's what the blouse looks like on. I would say it looks better when I've got a bit of a tan because it's quite close to my natural um, skin tone. Um, I've got a little bralette thing on underneath just because it's very deep V um, and I just tend to wear something like that underneath. Um, but yeah, here's like all the shearing detailing. It just goes in really nicely at the waist. Gives you quite a lot of shaping. Um, and then big sleeves, which just, I've paired it with these flares, which I think it just looks really nice with. And then the last thing I got from Free People was this dress, which is in this gorgeous lilac shade, which I would never normally go for, but I just thought that it seemed really, really <laughs> nice. I don't know, I just really was drawn to it. Um, and I think it goes really nicely with my colouring and my hair colour, so. Yeah, I got it in an extra small, I think. It's got buttons all the way down the centre, and then it goes into like a midi style length. The only thing that I was a bit sad about the other day, I realised that it has no pockets. And this sort of dress would be so perfect if it had pockets. In this gorgeous linen fabric as well, so super lightweight for summer and spring, and I'm so excited to start wearing this. This is a free people dress. I am obsessed. I just think it's so gorgeous, it's so flattering, hugs in all the right places and like flows out over the hips nicely, it's got nice slits so it doesn't look too like, I don't know, sometimes with long skirts I'm a bit like, I feel a bit conservative, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but then it's got this really low V as well which looks great if you don't have like a little bralette thing on um, but then like you have to be careful because the side bit you can kind of see in <laughs> so the best bet for underwear with this sort of dress would probably be like a really deep V body Pull and Bear very kindly sent me this really gorgeous blue suit set um, which is something that I wouldn't really go for but um, it's really interesting and like I think it would just look so cool as an outfit worn together and um, the trousers are in like a cigarette style um, and it's just, it's just really pretty and I also love Pull and Bear. I think Pull and Bear always get the fit and shape of garments really well, so I'm excited to wear this. Um, and I mean I can like separate them and wear them with different things as well, so yeah, excited to style this. Okay, here is the very blue suit from Pull and Bear. I actually love this. I think it's so cute. It's such a spring-like shade of blue and like I wasn't too sure if I'd be able to pull off the double look but I actually think it's quite wearable like it's not too bad and the blazer is such a lovely cut as well it comes down to a nice level the trousers feel super comfortable they've just got an elasticated back so it's literally just like wearing joggers <laughs> so yeah I love this little set it's so cute I was also sent a few things from Nasty Gal first one being this like black cowboy hat um, which is just very cool. Um, it has got this little like toggle bit which I'm not sure about. I mean like I know it looks cool but I don't think I'd be brave enough to wear it out with that so I might just put it in the hat or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's cute. I like it a lot. Then they also sent me this gorgeous corduroy jacket um, which is so my style. Um, the sleeves are nice and big. I think this is in a size large actually. Yeah, it's in a large. Um, but it's just such a cool little jacket. It's just a bit different to like the average leather jacket that you'd wear. I also feel like this is kind of branching away from my Pull and Bear brown jacket which I'm just living. Um, and I, it will just be too heavy when it gets to warmer weather. So I'm ready with my cord jacket. <laughs> this is what the corduroy jacket looks like on. I love how like oversized and just casual it looks. It's got such like 70s vibes to it with the brown um, corduroy. Um, it does up 
like that if you want to do it up. So yeah, it's just like quite an interesting little jacket and I really like it. And then also from Nasty Gal is this really long checked coat, which I haven't got anything like this in my wardrobe. Um, so it's going to be interesting to style this up and just chuck it on with like some jeans and a simple t-shirt. I think that would look really nice. And it's got really nice big patch pockets on the front that you can just like go for the slouchy look. So yeah, I'll show you guys what this looks like on now. This is what the jacket looks like on. I'm so not used to wearing coats and jackets that are this long. Um, so I don't really know how to style them at the moment, but I quite like it with these flare jeans and like dark t-shirt. Um, but yeah, I like the pockets. They're nice and big and just, it's a very easy jacket. And it's quite like a lightweight jacket, so um, I think it's like a good one to wear to London if you want to get like really hot in spring. Okay, I think that's actually the end of the video. Those are all of my new in items. Make sure you guys are following me on Depop if you want to buy any of my old items. Um, currently selling quite a few on there, um, so I will link it down below. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favourite piece from this haul. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!